Mushrooms are fascinating. They are a culinary delicacy. They are also a source of powerful medicine. But did you know that the magic of mushrooms extends far beyond the plate? Mushroom cultivation generates byproducts that hold incredible potential. Spent mushroom substrate, SMS, and mycelium waste, often discarded, can be repurposed. These byproducts are rich in nutrients. They can benefit gardens, farms, and the planet. Join me as we explore the fascinating world of mushroom byproducts. We will uncover practical and creative ways to repurpose these valuable resources. Let's unlock the full potential of mushrooms for a more sustainable future. To harness the power of mushroom byproducts, we need to understand what they are. Spent mushroom substrate, SMS, is the leftover material after harvesting mushrooms. It consists of the substrate used to grow the mushrooms. This includes straw, sawdust, or coffee grounds. It is also infused with mycelium, the root-like network of fungi. Mycelium waste refers to the excess mycelium growth that occurs during cultivation. This waste is often trimmed and discarded. Both SMS and mycelium waste are rich in nutrients. They contain nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and beneficial microorganisms. Composting spent mushroom substrate, or SMS, is a fantastic way to transform what might seem like waste into a gardener's best friend compost. This process not only helps in reducing waste, but also creates a valuable resource for your garden. This black gold, as it is often called, enriches the soil, improves drainage, and provides essential nutrients that are crucial for plant growth. The benefits of using compost in your garden are numerous and can lead to healthier, more vibrant plants. To start composting SMS, the first step is to break it into smaller pieces. This increases the surface area and helps speed up the decomposition process. Next, mix the broken down mushroom substrate with other organic materials. This can include a variety of items you might already have in your garden or kitchen. These organic materials can include leaves, grass clippings, or kitchen scraps such as vegetable peels and coffee grounds. The diversity of materials helps create a balanced compost. It's important to maintain a good balance of brown materials, which are carbon rich, and green materials, which are nitrogen rich. This balance is key to creating a healthy compost pile. Keep the compost pile moist but not too wet and turn it regularly to provide aeration. This helps the microorganisms break down the materials more efficiently. Over time, the SMS and other organic materials will decompose into rich, crumbly compost. This transformation is a natural process that results in a nutrient-rich soil amendment. This composting process can take several weeks to months, depending on the composting method you use and the environmental conditions. Factors such as temperature, moisture, and the types of materials used all play a role. The resulting compost will not only nourish your garden, making your plants healthier and more robust, but it will also help in reducing the amount of waste that goes to landfills. By turning waste into black gold, you contribute to a more sustainable and eco-friendly gardening practice. SMS can work wonders as a garden mulch. Applying a layer of SMS around plants offers numerous benefits. It helps retain soil moisture, suppresses weed growth, and moderates soil temperature. Spread a two to four inch layer of SMS around your plants, keeping it a few inches away from the base of the stems. As the SMS decomposes, it releases nutrients into the soil, providing a slow and steady feed to your plants. This reduces the need for synthetic fertilizers and promotes healthy plant growth. Second flush. More mushrooms, less waste. One of the most exciting ways to repurpose spent mushroom substrate, or SMS, is to use it for a second mushroom flush. This practice not only maximizes the yield from the same substrate, but also contributes to sustainable farming by reducing waste. Essentially, a second flush means getting a second harvest of mushrooms from the same substrate. 
This process can be incredibly rewarding for mushroom farmers, as it allows them to make the most out of their initial investment in substrate materials. However, it's important to note that not all SMS is suitable for a second flush. The suitability depends on several factors, including the type of mushroom initially grown and the condition of the substrate after the first harvest. Different mushroom species have varying requirements and tolerances, so the type of mushroom plays a crucial role in determining whether a second flush is feasible. Additionally, the substrate must be in good condition, free from contaminants, and still rich in nutrients. To attempt a second flush, ensure the SMS is still moist and hasn't started to decompose heavily. Moisture is a key factor in the growth of mushrooms, and the substrate must retain enough water to support the mycelium. You can reactivate the mycelium by soaking the SMS in water for 24 hours. This soaking process helps to rejuvenate the substrate, making it more conducive for another round of mushroom growth. After soaking, it's crucial to drain the excess water thoroughly. Once drained, place the SMS back in a humid environment, which is essential for the mycelium to thrive and produce a second flush of mushrooms. With proper care and attention to detail, you may be rewarded with a second harvest of delicious mushrooms. This practice not only enhances productivity, but also aligns with sustainable farming practices, making it a win-win for both farmers and the environment. Soil Superfood Enhancing Soil Health with SMS SMS is a treasure trove of beneficial microorganisms. These microbes play a crucial role in improving soil structure, nutrient cycling, and disease suppression. Adding SMS to your soil can significantly enhance its health and fertility. Incorporate SMS into your garden beds by tilling it into the top few inches of soil. You can also add it to potting mixes to provide a boost of nutrients and beneficial microbes. As the SMS breaks down, it releases nutrients and creates a more hospitable environment for plant roots to thrive. From garden to farm, SMS as animal feed and bedding. Spent mushroom substrate, or SMS, is a versatile byproduct of mushroom farming that has found its way into various agricultural practices. The benefits of SMS extend beyond the garden. While it is commonly used to enrich soil, its applications are far more diverse. It can also be used as a nutritious and sustainable supplement for animal feed and bedding. Farmers have discovered that SMS can be an excellent addition to the diets of their livestock. SMS is particularly beneficial for ruminant animals like cows, goats, and sheep. These animals can digest the fibrous material in SMS, making it a valuable source of nutrients. Before feeding SMS to animals, it's essential to ensure it's free from any contaminants or diseases. Proper handling and storage are crucial to maintaining its quality. Consult with a veterinarian or animal nutritionist to determine the appropriate amount of SMS to add to their diet. They can provide guidance on how to integrate it safely and effectively. SMS can also be used as bedding for animals. Its absorbent properties help keep the living environment dry and comfortable. It provides insulation, absorbs moisture, and decomposes into valuable compost. This not only enhances animal welfare, but also contributes to sustainable farming practices by recycling waste into useful products. Conclusion A sustainable future. One mushroom at a time. Repurposing spent mushroom substrate and mycelium waste is a win-win situation. It reduces waste, minimizes our ecological footprint, and provides numerous benefits for gardens, farms, and the environment. By embracing these practices, we can contribute to a more sustainable and circular economy. From composting to animal feed, the possibilities are endless. Let's unlock the full potential of these often overlooked byproducts and cultivate a greener future, one mushroom at a time.